Apple just released the fourth developer beta for iOS 16.2, a little over two weeks after the release of beta three, even though it felt like much longer. So this also came just one day after the public release of iOS 16.1.2, which I just covered on the channel yesterday. So in this video, we're going to discuss what's new and of course, what to expect next. Now, along with this iOS 16.2 beta 4 release, we also got the fourth beta for iPad OS 16.2, Mac OS 13.1, Watch OS 9.2, TV OS 16.2, and HomePod OS 16.2. All right, so taking a look at the size of this update, you could see it came in at 640.9 megabytes on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. That size will vary depending on the version you're coming from and the device you're on, but that was coming from beta 3B, which we'll talk about in in a second. So if we go into our settings, check out the build number, general about 16.2, we can see, first of all, there's our first change here. But before we get ahead of ourselves, the build number is 20C. 5058D. And if we go back for a second and go down to the modem firmware, you can see that is 1.22.02. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 16.2 beta 4? And the first thing is, of course, what I just showed you. If you go into your settings, general about, and then tap on the iOS version, you will now see the release notes in here as well. So before it would just show iOS 16.2 and then the build number in parentheses, but now it shows the full on release notes right there as well, which is what we got in this screen right here when we went to update for the first time. So it's nice to be able to see that, kind of reference it if you need to. And it looks like it is a little bit bugged out. You could see right there, that bug just happened live on video. Now, aside from that, there's also a couple of other changes. So if we head back into our settings and then we go to our display and brightness and then down to always on display, this is a new feature where we're able to disable the wallpaper and or the notifications. That way it's like all black. So now you can see my always on display. It's just all black. We don't have the wallpaper there. That was new in beta three. But the thing that's different here in beta four is if you look closely, the typo where it said when has now been fixed. So now it shows when and the proper spelling. So shout out to Marquez who pointed that out on Twitter as well. Now I did also want to mention that on Monday, Apple did release another rapid security response update. So if we go to our settings, general software update, and then to automatic updates, if you have this turned on, you may have missed it. You may not have even known that your device updated itself because the file size was literally like three megabytes. It's like the smallest update in the history of iOS, but there was a second security response update this week. The first one was a test and we didn't get confirmation if the second one was a test, but I would assume at three megabytes, it probably was, especially if it was just pushed out to beta testers. So yeah, that's just something to know. You would have probably seen B in parentheses in your uh, about section. If you didn't know what that was, it's because there was just another security response update. And by the way, that was a new feature that was introduced in iOS 16, but we didn't actually see it working like functioning until here in 16.2 beta. So I would assume that starting from 16.2, the public release on, we're going to start seeing these more regularly for those that are not on the beta program, just on regular, you know, iOS public versions. And then I also noticed they fix in the YouTube application. So first off yesterday, if you did have issues with YouTube crashing, that was an issue on YouTube's part that was fixed that same day yesterday. But one of the bugs that was not fixed was the rotation animation. So that has been fixed now with beta four. I really only had that in beta three where it would kind of glitch out. It would look like it was going one way and it would pump fake you and then it would rotate the other way. So that happened in the TV app and also in the YouTube application, but that now has been fixed here with beta four. And then speaking of yesterday's update, iOS 16.1.2, I know some people have asked me, does this include the fixes that were in 16.1.2, which were improved compatibility with wireless carriers and crash detection optimizations for the 14 and 14 pro models. And I would assume yes, of course, there's no confirmation on this because both of these are kind of behind the scenes fixes that you can't really tell at first, but I would assume that this fourth beta does fix the things that 16.1.2 fixed. And by the way, we still don't know exactly what improved compatibility with wireless carriers even means. I don't think it means you're going to have improved performance with cell connectivity because ever since I updated it, it's actually gotten worse. So we don't know what that means still. But if you do have issues with the uh, crash detection getting triggered on the 16.2 betas, that should be addressed here with this fourth beta. And you should not have the ambulance called anymore if you ride a roller coaster. And if we take a look at the release notes for beta four, there's only one thing mentioned here, at least it is a resolved 
issue though. So we have a resolved issue for iPad OS 16.2 beta 4 related to stage manager. So it says while using stage manager with an external display, dragging a second window to the workspace incorrectly hides the recent apps list, shifting all windows in the workspace to the right. So that was a bug on previous versions that has now been addressed here with beta four, but there's really not much more going on here with this fourth beta. I'm actually kind of surprised that it's still a D build. Usually by now we would be at like a B or even an A build since we're so close to the release, but nothing else really going on. I mean, we still have the issue with the control center. You can see my home kit devices there, especially my home pods just have this really weird lag to them, which is really annoying. Although my thermostat stays there, it doesn't have the bug for the thermostat. So that's still there. I still have the bug where focus modes you know if a focus mode turns on and back off it'll just turn your wallpaper on the lock screen and home screen completely black and go back to your first lock screen you have set up that's been annoying that's been going on since ios 16.1 and still pretty much all of the other bugs that we had previously now as far as performance goes performance feels the exact same here in beta 4 i mean of course it's still kind of early but everything feels very similar here with beta 4. now i did run a geekbench test and i scored an 1877 on the single core and a 54 53 on the multi-core and if you compare that to beta 3 you can see that the single core score was exactly the same on betas 2 through 4 which is pretty fascinating. I don't think I've ever seen that for three consecutive versions to have the exact same single core score. But you can see there, the multi-core is slightly lower than beta three, and it is higher than beta one or two, significantly higher than beta one, but just interesting scores there, especially looking at the history of the 16.2 betas. And then as far as the battery life goes, nice by the way, you know, I'm not expecting any major change whatsoever from beta three, really even from beta one. Now, Beta 3 did improve the battery life a little bit for me, especially from Beta 1 and 2, but I would not expect a big jump here in Beta 4 coming from Beta 3. Now, if you're coming from 16.1.2 or 16.1.1, you know, it may be a little bit better. It's really hard to say because it feels the same to me, but don't expect any major changes in battery life. And then finally, let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So today is Thursday. Happy December. I cannot believe it's already December. And yeah, it's a weird release day for a beta that you almost never come on Thursday. It's very rare. But anyways, the next beta is going to be beta five. And I would expect that to come next week on the week of December 5th. Now there's one of a few things that could happen. So we could actually see a beta five early in the week and then an RC later in the week. I'm actually starting to trend towards thinking that direction. So we might get a beta five on the sixth and then an RC maybe on the eighth or the ninth and then a final release right there on the 12th or the week of the 12th. I find it hard to believe that Apple's gonna wait all the way until the week of the 19th to push out iOS 16.2. So I think the final release of 16.2 is gonna come sometime on the week of the 12th, if not the 12th itself. So next week is going to tell us everything we need to know if we get a beta five early in the week and then an RC later, or we might just jump straight to an RC next week, you know, just have one release next week being an RC and then a final the following week. But as always, just keep it locked to the channel. I will keep you guys as informed and up to date as possible. But yeah, guys, there you have it. That is iOS 16.2 beta four, really not too much going on here whatsoever, a pretty boring update, but it was a necessary update in the cycle of the 16.2 beta so next week should be a lot more exciting we should see some new things in that rc build if we do end up getting that which i do think we will so just keep it locked to the channel but if you guys enjoyed this video i would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe for a lot more ios 16 and eventually ios 17 videos i don't know why i'm already starting to think about ios 17 but i'm already starting to get excited about that but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon